it's when you get to gone midday um, with the regret of knowing that the last two and a half, three hours of your time, what you're doing, and I'm not going to go into details, um, other than the fact that I made an error. So I spent the best part of three hours on um, an insurance based claim to do with a fallen tree, working loads of stuff out, taking photographs, spending time on stuff, that when I came back to the office and had almost finished it, I read the request again and then realised it was the wrong one. address the wrong person I hadn't read it properly basically we had a letter requesting some professional opinion on um, a tree that had come down fairly local to us something that I did attend and did advise um, the folks who had their property damaged um, it was a significant tree um, but I'd basically saw a name and saw first part of the address, which is similar to, and I just spent a load of time on the wrong tree. So now I've got to do it all over again. Although it won't be quite so bad because, well, because I'll be doing the right one. Uh, that ever happened to you? You know, you've <coughs> read something or be given something and you've just instantly assumed that you know exactly what you're doing and what you're talking about and you oh yeah I know that and then you go off and do a load of stuff and when you come back they go well no that's not what I meant at all I actually want you to do this and you go oh well now you finish explaining it to me that makes perfect sense and yeah that was me this morning I cocked up. So, luckily, no damage has been done apart from wasting my time and making an insurance man laugh quite a lot because I had to ring him up and say some of the stuff I've given you is wrong. And he was there going, I couldn't understand what you were talking about, so I'm glad you told me. Yeah. Definitely reminds you occasionally that we are human and definitely fallible. Anyway, no harm done, apart from three, two hours of the day gone. Okay, so I'm just taking a trip over to see my dad. Um, I've had some correspondence come through that um, is to do with mother or arrangements and whatever else, so got a few bits and bobs to go through um, so I want to get that sorted out because that's just one of those jobs I, I want to get done now um, we have to wait for probate um, because we want to um, intern her with her parents but I'm not allowed to adjust the headstone or replace the headstone or anything like that until um, ownership of the plot her the great plot has been transferred, so it's coming to me. Uh, but it's, uh, the second that's done, then I'm going to speak to my siblings, and we're going to have the headstone all redone and nice for mum. So, but yeah, I would imagine it's going to be well this year. We'll get it all put to bed this year and done and dusted this year. But some stuff is just going to drag on a bit. So. I still talk to her every morning because she's actually with us. She's back in the house with us, so um, um, yeah, every morning I go and put my hand on the box and say, hi, 
I know. I know it's daft. But I don't care. I can live with being daft. I'm expecting to see the tree team coming back this way in a minute. Um, I sent them over to, I sent two of the lads over to the farm. I wanted to bring our cattle hurdles back. Um, it was a job I've been meaning to do for ages, <coughs> but it's kind of a two person job. And although I could put them on the Land Rover and strap them down myself, I could do that. Um, I think it would be a bit stupid, really. They are, they are actually quite heavy. Um, and the more you put on there, the higher you've got to pick them up, lift them, and stuff like the guillotine gate. It's really, to do it safely, you need two people. Um, so Mikey and Oz had a couple of hours where I didn't have a job for them specifically because the other two guys have gone on stump grinding. Doesn't need four guys to go stump grinding. Doesn't really need two, but I like having two. If we're having any work done with power, power machinery, I'd like to have a minimum of two people on site. Just in case something goes wrong, there's always a backup. Um, but yeah, so Martin and um, Ewan have gone to Nailsworth to grind out a big cherry stump, which left Mikey and um, Oz twiddling their thumbs. They could either split firewood, and cut some hedges, or do something useful for me. So I, I went with option three. Yeah. feel much better for it. You may have noticed, someone's had a bit of a trim this morning, and you, and you were very good. You might have copped the photographs on my Instagram, which I haven't actually put up yet, but I will. So by the time this video comes out, they will have been up and you'll see, the, yeah. So. She's as good as gold. The thing is, is um, although some will say, oh, it's a rug time, you're a trim the dog, um, our house is hot. She lives in the house. And she's either in the house or usually in the vehicle with me. She doesn't spend that much time, actually, outside. So, and I haven't taken it off as tight as I would in the summer. I've still left a good layer of guard hairs on her and I've only actually done her back and flanks. So her legs and her belly, I've left untrimmed, and I actually think she looks looks all right with it. So, and has also got rid of that that bit of nose. You know what it is when you've got a really hairy dog, and they they do go out and about a bit. They get a bit of a bit of scent about them. Well, that's all but disappeared. So yeah, bonus. So when she comes bounding up the stairs first thing in the morning to stick her tongue in my ear, it's no longer a. Whoa. That's quite often how I woke it up. Dog's tug in my ear. I'm obviously delicious. How's your day been? Good to see your face. How you doing? Tell me your story. I just want to have a conversation. I just want to make a friend or two. I'm not trying to change your mind All I'm trying to do is be nice Cause life's already hard enough And you don't gotta act so tough all the time Be nice Cause we all gotta deal with stuff And everybody needs a hug sometimes Be nice Do you know that was a proper Manky bale. All right, it was only really the, the outside sort of 10 12 inches of it that was properly manky, and the inside wasn't too bad. But look at them because it's out here and it's like forbidden sweets, they shouldn't have it because it's not in the feeder and it's on the floor. They're chuffing it into them, and then many of them are on the decent hay in the ring feeder over there. Oh yeah, none, they'd all rather eat the crab. <laughs>